up on the Be Bold Show, the Be Bold team get into some serious action. And will you believe it if we tell you that Azonto has gone all the way to space? Well, we'll tell you how. We also have our weekly sickle cell project. Yes. This and many more on the Be Bold Show. Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the Be Bold Show. As always, we hope to educate you and entertain you. Now today, Crystal and I are looking gorgeous again. And why is that? Well, I hope they think we're looking gorgeous because <laughs> well, we're I wearing think we are. <laughs> Dua one of the best designers in town. I mean, she does things with, look at the beading work and the details that you're seeing on there. I love it. It's absolutely mm -hmm. stunning. Now, today we were going to be looking at a multi-billion dollar industry, which has everything to do with movies. Who doesn't love going to the cinemas to watch a movie? And action-packed movies. Now, that's something that's not exactly in Ghana yet. Well, we've seen a few, you know, the police will come down and they'll be shooting <laughs> at the actors and so forth. But we're talking about... But it's not like Hollywood, you yeah. know, that like, ho, 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 like when you go for an action film. Action and, you know, <laughs> doing a lot and then you move along with it, you know. <laughs> but right here in Ghana, we've got... Um, Something, well, I'm not even going to give that away first. We're not going to give that away. Let's talk, let's find out from what people around Ghana think about action movies in general. Yes. Do you think that we can make action movies in Ghana? Is there an, a space for action films in Ghana? Yes, yes, we can. We can do more action movies in Ghana. There's room for improvement. There are more room for improvement. The more we make up your mind, you can do it. We, we've come far. We've come far. We've watched a lot of the foreign movies. And I know we have some people who are abroad studying about movies who have degrees in it. And I believe that they can also come down here and help us Okay, make it happen. I think, yes, Ghana can produce if only we want to. Now... Why are we talking about action films today? That is the question. Well, if you are like us and you're roaming around Facebook, checking out YouTube, you might have also come across a movie called Redemption. Now, before we talk any more about that, let's just have a look at what we saw online. Watch that with me as well. I mean, it was totally action packed. I mean, did you see the, the concentration on their faces? And, and the just action shots just look so real. It That's did. what it really it impressed did. me. And guess what? This happened right here in Ghana with Eighth Wonder, their stunt guys who basically choreographed these, this action that you just saw. And Kofi Mafo is um, the CEO or the founder behind Eighth Wonder. And today we're going to um, look into his stuff. But also, 
this redemption movie was done by Pascal Aka, who was one of the die. He's actually been on the show before, also in season one or two. Um, and did and our ad lib for this season. Mm -hmm. So right here in Ghana, all of this, we're having Ghanaian directors, we're having Ghanaian stunt um, men, and well, we'll get to meet them right now. Let's take a look at Eighth Wonder. This is the Eighth Wonder Studio, and here Kofi Mafo and his team go all out. Acrobatics and martial arts go into creating great stunt work, but that's not all Kofi does. When they are not doing this, They are training kids in martial arts. And we're back right here. You've seen all of that action and that's Kofi Mafa that you saw there with his team, his 8th Wonder team. And he's sitting right here with us. Thank you so much for joining us here today. Right, and welcome to the Be Bold Show. Yeah, thank you very much. I'm so happy how, to be here. Thank you. And yeah. how did you... How did you start even doing that in the first place. I mean, this is the stuff we see in America, <laughs> you know, and the Hollywoods and stuff, and here you are in Ghana trying to make it happen. Okay. Um, basically, uh, it was never my intention to do stunts. Yeah, um, I'm, a, I'm a martial arts trainer. I train kids. Okay. I'm a Taekwondo instructor. Yeah. And, um, you know, I did Taekwondo to a certain point. I used to ask myself, okay, finally, you can fight, you can defend yourself, but what next? If I'm, I'm, I'm very ambitious. So if, if I get to a certain point, just knowing how to fight and defend yourself wasn't enough for me. So I sat down and, you know, should I say, um, I loved action movies growing up. Yeah. So at a certain point in time, I was like, you know what, I'd like to try this. I don't want to be an actor, but I feel like we, I, could, I could make a difference because it seems we love movies here in Africa. You know, Nollywood being uh, the, the third biggest movie industry in Africa. Yeah, I feel I could I could make a change, not just in Ghana, but I could impact Africa with action design. That is how I, you know, started going into the whole stunts industry mm -hmm. thing, yeah. And at this time, were you based in Ghana when you made this decision to go into this? Yeah, I was based in Ghana. I was schooling in Legon at that time. So how did you, like, come up with how you were going to do the stunts well, um, and everything? Basically, if, if you really want something, you go for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No one ever told me there were stunt schools out there, mm -hmm. but... You know, I, let me say, I was, I was desperate. I really wanted to do this. So I went online someday and I just started to Google stuff. And I happened to find some stunt schools in America. Yeah, so I, I, I you know, I, I filled a form. I sent an email. They replied. And I knew, okay, this is possible. Then I'll just do this. So I ended up um, at Hollywood Stunt School in New York City. Yeah. And so you actually went to school for yeah, this? Yeah, I went to school wow. for this. I'm a, I'm a certified stunt coordinator. Wow. Yeah. That's <laughs> So there's a science and an art behind it. Yeah. Tell us more about that. What goes um, into it? Basically, if people people get up out in Ghana and in, in Africa and they think it's all about going on set and throwing your hands and you know kicking, but that is not just action. It's an art. It's being able to sell something believable to the audience so they buy it. The reason why we're doing a whole lot of movies here people don't buy it is because we don't know the little things, the details to put in there to make it believable. Yeah, and then it doesn't look yeah, real. Yeah, and it doesn't sell. Yeah. So what the school did for me was, aside the martial arts knowledge that I had, it also drew my attention to the little details like camera work, creating illusions for camera, and doing the whole, using certain tricks people don't know to beat them. And that is all stunts is about. It's about creating illusions. Yeah, so we create illusions mm. for camera. Yeah, that is how you know they do stunts out there. But you know they have a couple of crazy people who take it overboard, like Jackie Chan. But oh. yeah, it's all about creating <laughs> illusions. We all love Jackie yeah. Chan. So I was telling Sarah how we, you know, you taught us a few tricks, and she doesn't believe. No, I that like we the bold team no, came they, to they, you. They did good. Really? Yeah, are you just good. saying that because no, you're here now? No, they did good. They can did we, very good. Um, can we just... Mabanga did very well. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Crystal too. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. guys, before we continue, please, let's just take a look at what happened when the Be Bold team went to the 8th Wonder studio to try some of those action moves. Oh, 
Oh, you.